Police have arrested and charged a paradise man they say used fake identities on social media to lure another man and sexually assault him. 32-year-old Marcus Hicks is a volleyball coach and a substitute teacher. He's accused of posing as a woman online and using fake names to try to arrange sexual acts. The RNC says Hicks was posing as Isabella Ricci with the username Bella Ricci 4 and Corinne Smith with the username Smith. Core 15, and they want anyone who communicated with those usernames to come forward. Well, police arrested Hicks yesterday, and he appeared in provincial court today. At a news conference this afternoon, RNC Constable James Cadigan said the alleged victim is an adult male. You cannot consent to a sex act uh, in a case where you're involved in engaging in a sex act with a person being led to believe it is another person. So there's a level of deception there, and, and you cannot consent in that situation. So as, as I've mentioned, you know, we believe that uh, the information we received, it began as the use of social media platforms, uh, potential fictitious accounts being used, and uh, certainly concealment in the arranging of these sexual acts that occurred. And uh, as a result, you know, we've reached this stage in the investigation uh, where we have laid a charge of sexual assault. And, uh, you know, consent is a big piece in this process. Well, neither the English school district nor the education department would comment on the charges. The NL Volleyball Association also wouldn't comment on the investigation into Hicks, who was a head coach with the East Coast Volleyball Club. But the organization did say it has safeguards in place to help protect people, including giving guidance to athletes and coaches on how to recognize and report problematic or illegal behavior. Meanwhile, there are supports for sexual assault survivors Sandra McKellar is with the End Sexual Violence Group in St. John's. What I call our flagship in terms of the most used service is our support line. And sometimes when people phone, they ask, uh, this, they say, this happened a while ago, can I still call? Yes, anyone who's experienced sexual violence, it is available to them 18 plus, right? Uh, because of it's adults. Uh, if it is someone below that age, we let them know that we will need to reach out to the appropriate agencies. But it is to listen, to believe, to provide resources and support. 